Hi all, it's Girl Please Budget. Hope everyone's well and had a good week. Uh, my week's been interesting. <laughs> it's been great because the kids have been on half term, so it's been lovely. But, oh, dog dramas. I will fill you in. If anyone's on my Instagram, they know. Um, but we're here to check in for last week and restuff for next week. So let's have a look what we've got left over. So we have, let me just double check, because I've got a new stand. Yeah, you can see me. I've got a new stand, so hopefully it shouldn't like go all blurry and everything anymore. It's, that was really bugging me. So we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pounds in coins. And then we have five pounds left from spending in a note with some of this, and then five pound miscellaneous. Uh, if you can hear the planes outside, apologies, but it's flipping hot today, which is good. So, let's first of all, sort out what we're doing with the leftovers, because I want to get that out of the way first. So, let's do, Oh, I need to get this done to be honest, but what I might do is, I think we only need £10 for this challenge. Yeah, we only need £10 for this, so we need the bubblegum burst, so we're going to use that, so it's 30 So we have finished the sip and save, love this challenge, I think I might do this again. So that is completed, so it's £30. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with that yet, so I'll just leave that there. And then let's sort out these coins. So let's do... This is going to be full of coins, but it's for the summer holidays, so it will be handy to have some. When we're out and about and stuff, you know, like, especially for ice creams. and So let's do... Four, five. Let's do five pounds in here. Or if you're just out and about for the day and you want to get, you know, like the kids something. When you go to the park or something like that, you can be like, oh, do you want to go to the sweet shop? Um, let's do... Should we see? I'm going to... I've got this challenge as well. Should we put three pound in here? This is called Save That Tune by the Little Budget Co. Just put £3 in there. This binder is just going to be filled up with flipping coins, but, you know, whatever. It's handy, as you say, for the summer. Ooh. Right. We'll leave this open because we need to do... I was spending money on that for next week, and I condensed my... Dice Dice Baby, so I had more room and I counted it up properly. So, right, let's see what we've got for next week. So we've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So, let's sort this out. Okay, so we're going to do 10, 5 and the 5 one pound coins. Where is my dice? Let's see what I'm going to be getting. There's a 1, so it's going to be a 5 this week, because I round it up. So, 5. quite like the little co colour combo that I've gone for for this now as well. So, £5 is going in here. And then I've got £15 for spending, which is very good. Let's just move that out of the way. So what's everyone been up to this weekend? I um, cut the grass yesterday, the front and the back. Because my um, my neighbour was like, oh, um, I was cutting my grass the other day and I wondered if you wanted me to cut yours. So it obviously was looking um, pretty manky because, you know, that's when you know when someone makes a... Uh, 
comment. She's lovely, I love her. But yeah, I was like, um, no, 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 it's fine. It's just I've been working, you know, half term, kids. It's been raining as well, like I don't have time. Anyway, so I did it and it took me from nine o'clock in the morning to about two o'clock yesterday afternoon to actually completely clear everything. So that's fun. Okay, so let's get on to the pink binder. So let's go into homes, not getting anything. Hair is getting 20 today because I put my hair in in a couple of weeks 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. So that should be enough now for my hair. Beauty is not getting anything social, it's getting five pounds. It's got nothing in there. Gifts is getting 10 pounds. Might do that. So now it's got gifts has got thirty pounds in there. It's going towards Father's Day. Oh my god. Clothes, not getting anything. Health is fully funded, so we're not putting anything in there. It's got three hundred pounds altogether. Right, buffer emergency fund is getting five pounds. So let's take out that and put a ten in. So then it's got hundred pound in the bank, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. That's 200 pounds there. So yeah, basically with dog, um, if you know from before, I put her on the exemption list, um, even though she's not an XL bully, but when it all come out, they didn't actually say specifically because at the time they didn't know what an XL bully type was. They didn't know what an XL bully was. Um, so they basically put it as a type and my dog is an American Bulldog and because she measured up to the size I panicked and then the vet was like yep yeah, put her on there as a precaution you know because at the minute things aren't really clear and nothing was clear so anyway so I put her on there and then after I put her on there I got some more advice from several other people that are in kind of the know and they were like, why did you put her on there? She's not an XL Billy, she's an American Bulldog. You've got all the papers, you've got, you know, like, you know her blood roots. And I was like, well, I put her on there because I got told to for precaution, like, obviously being a responsible dog owner. You know, so she doesn't need to go on there. But there's no way to get her off. Like, they haven't updated their system. So whenever I ring up to say, you know, I wondered, like, when I can take her off, they're basically like, uh, you can't do it at the minute, it'll come in. But under the law, you need to have your dog neutered by the end of June um, if she's on the exemption list. So I rang them up and said, look, my dog isn't an XL bully. She's an American Bulldog. And I've got proof that she is one. Um, I said, like, I, like, do I need to still get her neutered? And they were like, if you don't get her neutered because she's on the exemption list, um, we will seize her. So basically, I blackmailed, been blackmailed into getting her neutered before I wanted to. Always wanted to get her neutered, but because of her um, her breed, they're not fully grown till they're three, and the vet recommended to that they didn't really want to neuter her before she's fully grown because it can cause like stunt growth. Um, you know, just it's not ideal and things like that. So obviously, obviously, it's not going to be like life-threatening for her if she has it done it's just not advisable anyway so now i've had to book her in because if i don't they're going to seize my dog who's n what who's not an xl bully so basically i've been forced to do it um because other than breaking the law anyway so i think this emergency fund is going to have to be used towards that because it's because of her size and obviously the fact that she's a girl as well it's going to be a little bit more expensive. I think it's about 330 quid. That's without if they have to give her any more additional medication or anything like that. I mean, touch wood, everything goes fine. But yeah, so pretty annoyed, to be honest. But because obviously I'm just following all the rules. But I've been watching this girl on TikTok. She's called Carly and Gang. I don't know if anyone knows of her, but she's got an XL belay and she's like the the dog is like her child and she has followed every single thing they told her to he's the soppiest dog ever and i watch her videos and i just like so sad what's happening to these dogs um 
you know, it's just awful. I mean, obviously, don't get me wrong, there is dogs out there that, you know, I don't agree with them, like, killing people, but it's not the average person's XL bully that's going to do that. It's the ones that are the wrong ones that have got the dogs for other reasons other than a loving pet, so, you know. Um, right, enough of me rambling on about that. That was just my rant of the week. So that's that. So yeah, I'm pretty peeved off, to be honest. But as long as she's safe, you got to do what you got to do, haven't you? I mean, she's still bothered about her flipping toe now that come off. So I don't think what she's going to be like when um, she actually gets this done. She's going to be milking it for like weeks. Um, birthdays is getting £10. So I may have to get her some pig's ears and a new teddy bear after that. Um, boy's birthday is getting £10. I paid um, the other 50 in. So it's quite good to have it in the bank because if I see anything, I can just order it for him in preparation. Girl's birthday is not getting anything. Events is getting 20. So this is going towards the summer holidays. So my last events... Um, tracker, let me just get my thing. My last events tracker... I'd finished and I've now, because all the stuff that's in here is going towards some holiday, so I've got my binder from Essex Cash stuff in that she made me and I've now put it in here. So I've now got 15 for £75 in here just purely from doing like the smaller challenges. And then obviously I've got my You're Too Sweet. I filled some of that out and I've left the coins in there so it can go towards, as you say, like ice creams, things like that. It's all for the summer. Right, so this is 20 in there. I'm done with my pen. This one's on Peachy Budget. So I think I've got all her fruit ones. It saves 150 this one, so it's good. Christmas is in my Iris Wonder car. It's getting 10 pounds. One, 10. So it's got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, oh, 100 in there now. That's good. Doggy, she's getting five pounds. I think this will be going towards her Bixies and her teddy bear when she goes, <laughs> when she goes to get a womb removed, bless her. Christ, I'm about to book two days off work. <laughs> for it because she's there all day and then obviously the next day I don't know oh, she, she's going to be absolutely fine but you know just so I haven't got to worry about work I can just deal with her okay so let's go into the Christmas binder we are putting in today £15 pounds. so £15, 15 so we're going to be marking off a 5 and a 10 I'm going to get a wriggle on with this There's five in there. I had a good clear out of my wardrobe earlier and just binned a load of stuff or charity bagged it. So I've done it with my son's one. My daughter's, oh, don't even want to go there with that. She's got so many, so many things. Right, what have we got left for debt challenges? We've got five, 10, 15, 20. And I've forgotten my binder. All over the place. Right, so here we are with the debt binder that I do every week. So roll the dice and we see where it's going. Two, one, two. Oh, we finished it. Two, so there's 20, 30, 40. Let's colour it in just to, uh, you know, complete. We have finished that one. What was that one anyway? Number two. Oh, fun. Brilliant. Let's put that there. So we've got to find another challenge now to go in there. Oops. Right, that's four. Two, three, four. I think we might have finished this one as well. 20, 40, 50. Yeah. 
We have finished it. We finished two today. I knew this would happen. This is what happened last time, wasn't it? I finished like a load in one go. Brilliant. I bet this is a debt one, which will make me a bit happier because I feel a bit like, ugh, at the minute. With it all. Uh, yeah, debt. Let me put that one at the back because oh, I know it's not to be reallocated anywhere. So we finished two already. Right, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's £30. And then let's mark. Oh, look, I've done a cross there and ticks there. What's that with me? Right, last five pounds is going to two. Oh, can't do that one. Let's roll again. Six. Twenty thirty-five. Can't mark something off because it is a ten. And that's from Eva the Rock Rocking Whip. And that is everything so i've completed so i've got to think where i'm going to put this so 20 30 40 i'm not sure what i'm going to do with that and then i've got 50 pounds for debt and i've also got the other money from this challenge haven't i as well so let's take this out slip and save i believe this was all kind of going towards the summer so, should we do the reallocation now, actually? Should we just do it? Let's just wing it. Makes it more exciting, doesn't it? And also, after the crappy news I had this week, it'd be nice to flip in, have some joy. <laughs> right, so what I want to do is, let's see what we've got. We've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. All right, so let's give this a whirl. So, beauty, I'm going to put 20 in. So, I do want to get my nails done at some point. So, I feel like I'm going to treat myself. So, sure, I'm going to put another five in. And then I think maybe I might put 20 in here because it's going to have to go towards the flipping dog, isn't it? Let's put another. Oh my god, I can't pick it up. Let's put 20 in there. Mark these off afterwards because that's going to have to go towards the dog. And now I've stuck that in there. And then let's do where's events? Let's put the rest in here because this is going towards the summer. So there's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. going in there so a nice big chunk in there today let's mark this one off so i don't forget so let's do the 20 and the five let's get rid of the big numbers oh there's no more 20s left on there good right brilliant so you've got all today you've got cash stuff in you've got reallocation you've got challenges everything but anyway i hope everyone has a good week and i'll see you all soon bye